but I was always interested because I always knew that they was energy in the soil because the ground, the crops that grow, and the wind, and in the sun. Because I, I set some grass on fire with a mirror, with a glass, and that's how I knew that they was heat. And I was only about 12 or 13 years old. So I've been playing with this, with this wind and sun for all my life. Now there's 14 panels there and I'm sold on them. In fact, I'm thinking about next year putting some on this building too. They're the 14 panels, they're, they're averaging around 400 kilowatts a month. They've been up a year ago in April and they just liked a few kilowatts or averaging 400 a month. So I thought that's pretty good. And that's 100 foot tall. And the concrete that's there is 15 by 15 and five foot deep. So I don't think there's any chance of it of moving. It just runs through the meter of the CIPS's meter and they register peak season, non-peak season, and then they take it from there. July and August is usually the two months that you don't make much power. That's usually the month that the wind don't blow too much. But that's also the two months that the solar panels makes a lot more too. Right now, with the turbine and the solar panels, well, I don't have no electric bill. That makes it pretty nice. We've in the last few months we we pay I think sixteen dollars a month, and, and that's the tax that the power company says that we have to pay that they can't absorb that. So they just given me credit on my bill. I'm carrying a credit now over. So then in, we've got to deal with them. We run from October to October, and then in October, well, we straighten up. If they owe me something, well, they'll send me a check.